Today you're in for a sweet treat as I show you how to make these seven watermelon DIYs using things from Dollar Tree. They're easy, fast, affordable, and fun craft projects. So let's get started. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. This is the inspo for DIY number one. It's called Little Mini Watermelon Pond, I think. I have a link to it below. I took this little half, uh, well, this plastic cup that I got in the party section at Dollar Tree, and then the styrofoam came from the floral section, and I'm just tracing around with a pencil so I know how much to cut out. And then I'm using my craft knife. I did start to use that little weeder tool, picker tool thing that I got from Dollar Tree, but it wasn't working. So I'm just kind of sort of sawing, cutting down into the styrofoam until I've cut enough where I can pop it out like that. And then I'm going to kind of shave off at a um, tapered so that it'll fit into the cup. And I want it to be flush with the top, but so I'm trying not to cut off too much. So I'm just shaving off a little bit at a time, testing it, see if it fits. It does. So then I'm just kind of cutting off the excess that's hanging over the, the top edge because like I said, I want it to be flush. I'm painting it with Waverly Wax in the color Celery and Moss. And I'm just doing stripes, like trying to alternate stripes to give it some depth and dimension. I changed my mind on the colors though. And then I switched to Anita's all-purpose acrylic paint in the color Spring Green. And then, I don't know how to say this, but is it Serum Coat in Lime Sorbet? I don't know how to say it. Is it Serum Coat? I don't know. If you know, tell me below. So I, what I do is I paint a stripe of the one color, then the stripe of the dark color to kind of alternate and give it... I don't know, some interest, <laughs> just because I like how that looks. And then I take Serum Coat in the color Watermelon. <laughs> Go figure, I use that color. So I take that color and I'm painting the top of the styrofoam because this is going to be the watermelon. And I paint a little around the edge too, just in case you see it when I pop it back into the little cup thing. And then I'm taking some black paint in the end of a paintbrush and I'm adding in dots and this is the part where I should have like see like why'd you put that little what are you doing this are you putting too many I should like planned out the dots better because then it just like got kind of out of control crazy <laughs> but I mean it turns out cute but you know what I'm saying I'm like uh and so then I tried to paint it I paint over there and it see now it just looks like it's dirty there but I got these little umbrellas from Dollar Tree and I thought it'd be fun to stick it in to kind of, you know, mimic that inspo piece that I got. And then I was trying to figure out which ones I wanted to use and then they don't stand up and that one broke and, you know, it was just kind of a little bit of a mess. <laughs> so I ended up taking two of the green and then to keep it in place, I just hot glued it. I think there's a little rubber band that's supposed to hold it in place, but it didn't, and I just wasn't going to mess with it. So I just added a little bit of hot glue to kind of keep it a little bit open and stuck them in, uh, two of them in, actually. And then this is how it turned out. I mean, I didn't make the little bunny to go on top, but I think it turned out super cute. And to add even more dimension, you could take a little bit darker shade of green and add more squiggly lines. I didn't do that, but... I was looking at it later and I thought, you know, I could have added that too, but I always do that with my stuff. I think, oh, I could have added this or added that. It turned out super cute. I'm happy with it and I hope you like it too. This video is part of an open playlist. It's called Hello Summer and it's hosted by my friends, The Rusted Willow. And fun fact, I've actually met Tammy in person, in real life. We're real life friends. And it's also hosted by Ellie from DIY From House to Home. We haven't met yet, but I want to. You know, hey girl, it's on my bucket list. And also the guest host is Crafty Archack. Now she is a hoot. You have to check out her channel. I'm going to have everybody's channels in the playlist linked in the description box below. I hope you check it out and let them know that I sent you. All right, this next DIY is using this little wedding sign. And if you notice, my sign kind of has like oil spots on it. I'm using Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen White. It is my absolute favorite. I haven't used it in a while and I'm bringing it back because I just love it so much. Also, I'm about to run out of the other white paint that I'm using. <laughs> so anyway, I had to do several coats on here. I could still see the word cocktail, but you know, you couldn't. So, oh well, I think it's just me. 
Then I'm doing the alternating stripes with the lime sorbet and the spring green and just kind of creating what I think is a lemon rind, lemon rind, a watermelon rind look and I'm kind of blending it in if I can. Oh, here's the part where, like I didn't know what was coming next, but here's the part. I had these little half shapes and I was going to make them into little watermelons. So I did the little stripey alternating thing on the out, outer edge to mimic you know, the rest of my DIYs today. And then I, um, I'm taking that watermelon color and filling in the middle. And I even cut half of this in half again. So it made like a little quarter piece, you know, kind of like a little slice of lemon instead of a wedge, or I guess it could be still a wedge. Anyway, then I'm adding some white to the, um, a rind. You'll see, you'll see me do this later too, because you really can't see this here. And then I also add black paint for the, um, whatchamacallit, the seats. And I don't go overboard this time. There we go. I, I calmed down. I didn't go overboard this time. So I'm saving those for later. But now I'm going to add this little decal to the front of this sign. And it says, drum roll please. There we go. Uh, no, that's not even the reveal yet. Hang on. I'm not good at drumming. Okay, it says, Farm fresh watermelon. And then I'm going to hot glue those little watermelon pieces that I just created to each corner. Now, what I think I need to do is outline the farm fresh watermelon so you can see it better, but turns out pretty stinking cute to be honest. And again, I could put that darker green, like little wiggly line through it and make it even better. But, um, I like how it turns out. I think it looks, I, I just think it looks super cute. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me what you think. See that little white squiggly line? It looks cute. All right, next up y'all, I am making a gnome and I had cut out this shape, uh, I think of last year or the year before I did like a, a bee themed thing and I made a gnome and I cut out the shape and I had cut out another shape so I could make another gnome and here we are. A year later, making a gnome. <laughs> and I'm trying to do a buffalo check and it doesn't turn out right, but that's okay. You know, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. The colors just didn't, weren't contrasting enough and I didn't, I only used one color. That was my problem. But anyway, I digress. At first I wondered why it didn't turn out. And then I was like, oh, Lisa, you, you literally only used one color. You didn't even like lighten the color up. So why would you think it's going to be like anything different? So it just ends up looking like kind of like a check pattern, I guess. And there I'm trying to dry it. Yeah. So anyway, that's what I do. Um, I'm doing the Buffalo check tape thing where I'm marking it and all that kind of stuff, but I didn't use two colors. So that was just a waste of time, but you know, thanks for playing. <laughs> and then for his clothes, I'm doing the alternating stripes again. I put on the light green first and then I cover it with the dark green. And if there's like extra paint and it kind of blends, it's okay. It's okay. Cause you know, I mean, it'll look more natural that way. Right. And I even try to blend a little bit. Now I'm working on his beard. The beard, you know, sometimes it's hard because like I'm trying to like add swirls and depth and dimension and I'm not super great at painting, but I enjoy it. And I think it's fun and I think it's fun to create just in general. So I'm trying to make the beard look all, you know, whatever, like a beard, <laughs> trying to add in like little, little things that so looks like a beard. Then um, I go off camera for about a year. Yeah, here we are. I'm back. I'm using a linen color for his um, hands and his nose. I go back later and I take a pink color. I think it's vivid pink and I go over the, the hands and the nose and I use black paint to make the little feet. I glue that little slice in there. Look, cutie. He turned out pretty cute, even though I didn't, <laughs> didn't use two colors for his hat. It's okay. It's okay, Lisa. It'll be all right. But look, he's holding a little watermelon slice. I just think it turned out so cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Here's the inspo for this sign. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't find it. I found another one on Etsy, but it wasn't this one. And it looked a little bit different. I got this sign on clearance from Dollar Tree for like 90% off. No joke. I mean, could pass that up. I could not get this stuff really off the other side. I had to kind of like pry it off. And I was trying not to break the sign because it's not really great wood, you know. And I'm using that Rosalium Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color linen, by the way. And I'm giving it a coat all over. And so anyways... Um, I then had to sand it down. I, like I said, the wood is like super thin. It's kind of warped, but you know, it works. Now I'm doing stripes because again, I'm just making the dupe of that sign I just showed you. 
and I found one on Etsy and it was like $52. I was like, what? $52? But I'm pretty sure they didn't use this like little cheapy wood from Dollar Tree either. I'm sure they used really nice wood. So I'm taking that vivid pink and I'm painting in to create stripes and I've got the painter's tape down to kind of like make the lines. The lines aren't super crisp because there's a couple spots it messed up, but you know what? It's okay. It's all right. And then I cut out the decal using my Cricut. It says sweet summer time. And yeah, I'm just trying to, to put it, put it on the sign. Where am I? Lisa, come back. There we are. By the way, I have a crafting group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget and it's free to join. The link's going to be in the description box below. And if you join, just share whatever you're working on. Share projects that are awesome. Maybe even share a project fail. And let us, you know, just let us help encourage you on your crafting and creating journey. Because we like to do that. So anyway, I'm finishing putting on, I don't know why I have so much footage in here, but here's me putting on Cricut Vinyl Decal. Now, I'm making the daisies and I'm using this little sponge brush. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. And I'm using a... Um, yellow maize you know my new favorite yellow color I'm putting a maize dot in the center and then all around the outside i am putting white dots then i start to outline it it wasn't even all the way dry so then i had to wait oh somebody's tail oh that's captain anyways <laughs> then i was trying to mimic that sign and i was just putting some swirls with the green and you know it's going fine and it's looking cute i'm happy with it and you can see those little watermelons that i created earlier i've got those on there as well i hot glued those on and then i go back with the black paint pen and i outline the flowers better and i add some lines to the green paint to kind of you know emphasize it a little bit i'm not as happy with how i circled those <laughs> daisies or whatever but i think it turned out super cute it looks a lot like the inspo piece in my opinion and you know it was a lot less expensive it was not 52 dollars but again, I used super cheap wood from Dollar Tree and paint and stuff that I had on hand. I like how it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Oh, dang y'all, this has turned out to be a longer video than I thought. This is a book stack. Surprise, surprise. And I'm painting that bottom portion with the um, spring green. And the middle section is going to be that vivid pink color. And the top section, let's guess, you know, I mean, I'm not even going to do drum roll again because I couldn't do it before. Top section is going to be watermelon. For those of you that guessed watermelon, woo, give yourself a point. And then I cut out a decal using my Cricut. And it says one in a melon. <laughs> That's funny. I got jokes. So I just attach it using my um, Expressions Vinyl paper transfer tape. I love that stuff, but they don't make it in the six inch size anymore. So whatever. Anyway, I did it in one font and then I did a like a, print, a script font at the bottom and then I'm hot gluing one of those little watermelons that I made and that's it. That's that's all she wrote on this one. And this is how it turned out. Super easy, super fast to make. You know I love a, a cute book stack and this one certainly is cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, I was going to use this on the um this other <laughs> this other video i was gonna make it into a lemon i didn't now i'm doing that stripe thing again with the lime sorbet first and then i go back in with the spring green and yeah see i mean it's just easy oh and i used a piece of masking tape to hold that down to um that little round turntable thing that i have and i cut out this decal all it says is sweet you can, can you weed it? There you go. All right, we're just going to transfer that onto the watermelon rind. Looks like one of those round watermelons, actually. And then, got to finish it off and put that little um, watermelon there. And then I'm going to outline the entire circle with my black paint pen. And this is how this little guy turned out. See, I just, I don't know. I just think it's super cute. <laughs> I really enjoyed this video, if you couldn't tell. All right, we're on the last video, y'all. DIY number seven. And I had this sign from Easter. And it might have even been Easter from last year. I don't remember. But anyway, I cut off the top because I don't want the top. Um, I wanted it shorter. <laughs> then I'm, I didn't even cut it off straight, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sanding it down. And then I'm using that Rust-Oleum Chalk Ultra Matte Paint in the color linen to coat it. And I'm just actually doing one side. I normally do like front and back, but I'm just doing one sign on this because I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do a reverse sign on this one. Then I am marking off how, like, I'm, cause I'm trying to, 
I'm trying to paint. Why am I doing? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm marking off where the, so I have the outer edge free. Come on. Words are hard right now. I'm marking off. So I know how, and see, I'm doing little alternating lines again. I mean, y'all, this is so, this is easy to do. Anybody really, anybody could do this. It's not hard at all. And so I'm doing alternating lines and then I'm going back in with the darker green and putting that in there. And again, if it's blending or, you know, meshing a little bit, it's fine. It's totally fine. Then we're going to pull off that paint and we're going to cover up the part we just painted. Now, after it's dry, of course, wait till it's dry. Y'all don't be silly. And then we're going to paint this middle section with that watermelon paint. And then I got these round sponge brush things from Dollar Tree. And I just put some of the watermelon paint. But at this time, I did put white paint in there. See? And I'm kind of mixing it up, but not like super mixing it up. Because I want it to be noticeable that I'm doing um, something different. Yeah, I've got those squeeze bottles. The kind I got don't get it. Tammy has some that are like um, better <laughs> than these. But the handle broke off. I mean, the little top broke off mine. But anyway, so I'm taking a little bit smaller one and just adding a, a couple more in there. When I pulled off the tape, it pulled off some of the paint. So I was like, Wah. but you know, it's not that big a deal because I just go back in and touch up the areas that need touching up. And then I'm adding some of the squiggly lines. This reminds me, I think it's called Rick Rack or something. The um, stuff that you can sew on, which made me think I could have just used that instead of painting it on. I could have just used that. And that would have added some more elements like and texture to it. I did not cut this out all in one thing. My bad. But I think it turned out, the spacing turned out fine. So I put summer on there. And then I thought, yeah, the top looks kind of blank. That's weird. So I thought I'd make just one of those crazy bows where you just cut all kinds of strands like that and then put them all every which way but loose and <laughs> then you tie it together. Um, I forget what they call them. Messy bows or something like that. I'm not sure. So I made one of those and I, I hot glued it to the top corner and I hot glued a little quarter piece of the watermelon to that little middle of that bow. But y'all, that empty space in the top, it was supposed to say hello. I was supposed to move the summer down just a little bit on the sign and put the word hello in like a script font. <laughs> so <laughs> I kept thinking to myself, man, that top looks empty. I thought I was going to put something else there. I was. I found it later. Not in time for the video, but <laughs> that's okay. I think it turned out super cute. Though. I really, really like it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And let me know if you think I should add like um, seeds. <laughs> anyway, here's all of my projects laid out for you to enjoy. The little, um, I just, I love how they turned out this time. I just had so much fun doing watermelon. I thought it was, um, it's a bright, cheery kind of um, color combination. And it was just like fun making it. And I hope you enjoyed watching me. I hope you, if you learned any new techniques, let me know. If you got any inspo, let me know. Tell me which one's your favorite, all that kind of stuff. And if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook or something like that, my handle is Our Gray House. Else, but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy bye